Uh, really, really big week for our team. Um, you know, proud of the guys for the way that they played the other night. You know, there's plenty of things that we can get better on, but uh, to get out of there with a win uh, in Soldier Field was really important. So we're on to the next week, and uh, we got a great defense that we're playing that we have a lot of respect for, their players, their coaches, and we're doing everything we can to prepare to play our best game on uh, Sunday afternoon. What would be the challenge of not having uh, Dalvin on Sunday? Yeah, big challenge not having Dalvin. Obviously, a team captain, a great player. Um, unfortunately, I know he won't be available. But you know, we've been through this this year already. You know, when guys have stepped up, Matt steps up. Kanae's getting more comfortable. We got week two with Wayne Gallman. Um, Hammer's always been a Swiss Army knife. So uh, we just gotta just gotta go with the guys that we got. What have you seen from Kenny Wongwu as he um, gets more snaps and presumably will again on Sunday? I think he's better and better every week. The more the more comfortable that he gets, he works working really hard at it. You saw some explosive runs there in the last week in the Chicago game. Very capable back um, with a lot of potential. We just got to keep repping him, keep getting him better. And uh, you know the, the easy thing is that he's so coachable and uh, so eager to to get better himself. That uh, uh, between us and him working together, you know he's going to keep improving. Have you had any chance to have any conversations or texting with Dalvin? How disappointed is he? You know, this kind of happening before such a big game. Yeah, I haven't. No, that it kind of all happened uh, right before practice. So um, I know he's going to be bummed out, but we'll get him back at some point, and uh, he'll, he'll keep contributing to us, to us trying to go get victory. So, but for now, we got all the confidence in the world, Madison. Seems like you've been able to use those two guys interchangeably over the, the years, Alex and, and Dalvin. Does your offensive approach kind of stay the same without him? Yeah, you know we're uh, we're not going to change a whole lot. You know we know the the uh, you know the things that that Matt does well. We know the things Dalvin does well, and we'll always try to play to the player's strengths as much as possible. But uh, you know it's it's, uh, it's we've had a whole off season of work with Matt, and we got to you know just keep doing the things that he does well. Please, your players are so mentally resilient as well. Like the only thing that's been constant this year for you has been change. With everything that's happened so far. Does it in a weird way make it easier when some news like this happens with Dalvin? It's a great way to think about it. I think that's that's really true. You know, you're just uh, you're conditioned to, by this point in the season to uh, just deal with these curveballs that get thrown at you, players and coaches. So uh, it's nothing we haven't seen before. The whole league's dealing with it. Um, you just the games are going to get played, and uh, we got a lot of guys with a lot of experience. I can uh, you know pick up the torch. What did you see from the Chicago tape um, in the passing game that, that you wanted to improve on this week? Yeah, every week, you know, you want to you want to always find ways to get better. Whether you you put up you know 400 yards, or you put up 190, like it was the other night. But uh, you know, I thought the guys did a good job in the in the first half. You know, especially in the red zone, um, the guys made some plays in the red zone. But you know, overall, we just got to keep shoring up our protection. That's the main thing. And uh, you know, I thought. You know, in response to you know how the game was going, we ran the ball well and and closed it out, possessed the ball. You know, other than turn, that one interception, you know, our backs really protected the ball well, which was so important in that game. So, uh, lots to improve on going forward. And you know, we got the win. That's the main thing we care about. And we got a one-game season right now up ahead of us. When Kirk faces that much too, when you guys face an offense that much too high, what's is there a workaround for that, or is it just that you kind of have to? Except it might be a check down type game and, and lean heavier on the run. No, they definitely definitely work around. You no, know, we always always want to attack coverage, and uh, there's plenty more we could have done that night. You know, the main thing is you always got to start with protection. You know, you got to we got to give our guys time time to go work, and we played some some dang good pass rushers that they had, and credit to them, they played really well. So um, there's there's plenty more that we could have done better, and uh, we're always looking to get better and studying ourselves uh, when we're presented with that type of look moving forward. Mason out, uh, at least not practicing so far this week. Are you sliding to Dozier in at right guard since considering that's kind of where he played last year, he's familiar with that? Yeah, Dakota can play a lot of spots, guards, uh, center. Um, he's even played some tackle for us. So, you know, he can he can do a little bit of everything. And we're going to ask him to do a little bit of everything because of, you know, any injuries we got. Wouldn't you just put Udo back at that spot? Yeah, be, probably be ready to see, see some Udo, you know. Um, you know, Ole's been great for us this year. I can't. Can't tell you, you know, how, how important he's been to us. Him being able to move around, play a lot of spots, um, he just keeps getting better every week. Kirk hasn't been on the injury report in eight years. I don't know wow. if durability like that is seems pretty rare. But I mean, is there anything that he has to do differently this week just to make sure that he's not dealing with the ribs injury when he's facing wow. that pass rush against the Rams? 
Uh, you know, he's going to be so dialed into his job. No, he just got to go execute his job, run the team, run the offense, go make plays for us. Um, and, you know, just can't say enough about his toughness because, uh, you know, I think he spends a lot of time, you know, away from the building just on his body and getting his body right for the next week. And uh, just physically, mentally, he puts in a lot of extra work that a lot of guys, a lot of people don't see. And that's a, just a credit to how good of a teammate he is. And, you know, he's always going to be ready to play hurt for us, whatever he can do to be available on Sunday. And I think that's something you got to have in your, in your quarterback, someone that's always available. And, um, you know, he's been, a, he's been excellent there. How do you kind of size up uh, uh, Justin Jefferson going against Jalen Ramsey? I know he said earlier this year he kind of circled that game on his calendar. How do you kind of size up that matchup? Yeah, Jalen's a he's an elite player, and uh, you know Justin's Justin's playing really well, and that'll be a very important matchup. You know, Jalen plays in the slot, he plays outside, he's a really versatile player. Um, so uh, you know he'll be, he'll be line up a little bit everywhere. I think all of our all of our receivers will probably get a chance to go against him before it's all said and done. Can you kind of talk about what the plan is if Dalvin's going to be out? What the plan is for the running back situation? Yeah, the uh, just uh, next man up. You know, Dalvin's out. Here comes here comes Madison. Here comes Kane. You know, here comes Wayne Goldman. So all three of those guys are ready to roll. Plus plus Hammer and uh, Jake Vargas. We need him as well.